listening skills now what does a good listener do there is a list of do's and don'ts about good listener so a good listener first of all maintains eye contact whenever there is a direct lecture or a direct presentation a good listener would follow the body language of the speaker and have eye contact with the speaker all the time raises distraction if he or she listens to the songs she would probably try to make more attentive efforts to listen to the lecture and not go to the songs or horns or some other bells or everything that would be distracting her most importantly if you are losing concentration and if you have some doubts you must ask question to the speaker if you are asking questions that means what you are active listener asking question is a very good sign of an active listener so ask questions paraphrases paraphrases is that he or she puts the information given by the speaker in his or her own words i mean not all the time she would be writing it on the piece of paper but she would be probably interpreting and remembering all that information in his or her own words in his or her own mind but she paraphrases it tries to understand the summary of whatever is being said there in her or his own words in his or her mind then he does not overtake okay it is not he does not overtake or she does not overtake the speaker what happens you know if there is something that is uh, being told by the speaker and some people of your class know a very good information about that particular thing they will try to overtake the speaker and uh, they would imagine what would be the speaker saying afterwards that as if they know everything the problem is that when they overtake they are losing the point of view of the speaker okay just knowing an information is not enough every information is supported by a particular point of view as well so most probably if you know the information but if you do not know the point of view then there would be a problem so a good listener does not overtake to the speaker again a good listener keeps an open mind he is not narrow minded he does not think only about his benefit okay many times he or she has to listen for others as well so he is uh, or she is open minded and listen to everything that is being said there and tries to understand the relevance of whatever is being said if you find relevance if you find that how that particular piece of information would be useful for you it would definitely create interest in your own mind so when you say that he or she keeps open mind it does mean that he or she tries to take interest in that piece of information and presentation then he or she also tries to avoid argument see these two are different things having argument and asking questions asking questions is based on the facts and interpretations whereas arguments can be for the sake of arguments okay so rather than just argue if you ask questions that is always a better way okay if you argue then what happens you try to support yourself and you would be losing the piece of information which the speaker is trying to say this happens very often this also happens with us as professors when we have different point of view for one particular topic and when we ask somebody to speak and that particular person is not speaking in agreement with me i automatically tries to argue with his point of view which is worthless there okay i should be asking him or her questions rather than arguing and then try to prove my own points so the next thing is he or she finds interest he or she uh, takes interest in whatever is being said then she or he also empathizes with the speaker share some kind of emotions with the speaker and if there is some kind of emotional bonding with the speaker the 
whole listening and speaking session is enjoyable and most importantly she or he also holds temper and remains patient till the end of that particular activity so this is what a good listener can do in order to be a better listener now there are some guidelines we are coming to close to the lecture first thing is that pay attention second thing is at the end check your understanding as we have done in our compulsory english as well when we finish with our lesson we try to check our understanding whether we have understood everything or not then try to focus on speaker in a generous way try to understand the speaker it is not the speaker that he would make everything clear to you but if you make an attempt he would be making everything clear to you if you ask him question he would be ready to solve your queries and doubts avoid making assumptions don't have your presuppositions for the speaker and the topics and prejudices for the places and the time about the delivery of that particular topic listen for feelings and facts Comp you know whenever you listen to facts try and understand those facts and note those facts also equally understand the feelings of the speaker as well as try to associate yourself with the feelings of the speaker if you do these things then the listening would be very very uh, easy for us everything of this theory will have to put in practice then only it is possible to understand that in the next coming session coming lecture we will be